No, the thumbnail and the title are not clickbait. Have you ever thought about how many troops died during a KVK? I mean, let's take us as example, Lost Kingdom 507. Pass 4 opened, troops died, card up on the top. The altar battles began, troops in the hospital all over the place. You can check the video, card up on the top. A few moments later, Pass 7 opened, so many troops died. Pass 8 opened a couple days later, and all the madness unleashed. Flags double rallied, flags swarmed, field battles happening for days without a single moment of rest until one of the sides is pushed out of Kingsland. How much effort is required to take this building, the Great Secret? Let's take a look at our situation now. I will highlight on the screen, in red, the Kingsland territory conquered by us or our allies. Yeah, we made it, but which was the cost? Have you ever thought about how much are your troops worth if you want to retrain them back? Well, as usual, I made the math. And as we record everything in K52, on our website you can see that we inflicted almost 4 billion casualties, Bruh. of which just about short of 1 billion consists of dead troops for our opponents, and we ourselves had 668 million dead troops! And this is recorded as of 16th of January, with 15 days of KVK still to happen. So, you may want to stick around and watch this video until the end, because your eyes will literally pop off your orbits. Hello everybody, we Gaming here. Have you ever asked yourself, how much does training troops cost? Well, probably yes. Our friend Death Squad came up with a raw number of $770 for 100,000 T5 troops and $600 for 100,000 T4, basing his calculations off the War Machine Bundle value. I tried to go a bit further and analyze other factors that influence those numbers, such as the normal daytime training, so the troops you train normally during the day, the runes you use if there are any, the Kingdom Duke title when available, the Kingdom buff when your king uses it in occasions like MGE or troop training related events, etc. But also, I've considered buying better value bundles, such as the Call of the Ancients or some other event bundles, and I've tried to include in some form even the speedups that you get from playing events and actively farming barbarians. Therefore, you can understand that those numbers can go all over the place if we include all of these, especially because everyone has a different playstyle, more or less active depending on the time available, a different spending level ranging from free to play to high spender, or be in a kingdom where titles are not given out constantly and you don't train using army expansions when you have a good prune and a kingdom buff active. For this reason, I try to make an average according to my personal experience and the one of the players around me, and I think I came up with a decent estimation. Training 100,000 tier 5 troops might have a raw value ranging from $450 to $770, with an average of $610, and from $350 to $600 for 100,000 tier 4 with an average of $475. If we combine those numbers in a new average, we obtain $542.50, but of course, the tier 4 players represent a bigger portion of the overall troop usage into the game. So let's lower the total average by 100 bucks, rounding it up to $450 value for 100,000 dead troops, whether they contain tier 4, tier 5, or both combined in some proportions. It means that each troop has a value of $0.0045. In this scenario, 670 million dead troops had a value of just over $3 million to our kingdom, 
while the 1 billion troops that we killed had of course a value of 4.5 million dollars that combined result in 7.5 million dollars. But in Iraq Anthem KVK, half of the dead troops will be given back to you. So it's safe to say that the value lost lies somewhere around 3.75 million dollars. And I'm not counting any dead troops that other kingdom had and inflicted during the same KVK. To have an idea of that, we should at least triple this number, obtaining 11.25 million dollars, but let's keep things low. Let's be optimistic, let's say just 10 million dollars, and we have not accounted for all the speedups and resources spent to heal the billions of troops that went to the hospital, which just in the case of our kingdom, K52, were more than 2 billion, and we inflicted short to 3 billion hospitalized troops to the enemy, and that's tens of thousands of dollars. And again, I'm keeping things low. Our KVK was particularly bloody because it was very balanced and we all wanted to win. The four Imperium kingdoms that took part in Lost Kingdom 507, so Kingdom 52, 142, 234 and 349 all dropped off Imperium shortly after Pass 7 opened, and in Kingsland we just destroyed ourselves. But this is happening in every KVK, sometimes less, sometimes more. I mean, we were swarming everything that was breathing. Look at this. Swarming fortresses, swarming flags, swarming cities. I have tens of footages that look the same. I also want to take a few seconds to congratulate 142 and 234 for a super exciting and respectful KVK. This was, in my opinion, the most balanced KVK that the game has ever seen. Our Kingsland lasted for days after all the other KVKs already finished. So I really would suggest to Lilith to balance things like they did in 507. So GG to our opponents and thanks for the awesome fights. I will also take a moment and thank my wonderful donors, as I cannot do in livestream yet. Sam Sam and Man and One. It means a lot to me, I never give anything for granted, and your support will help this channel tremendously. I will invest all the revenue for you guys to bring better content to this channel and start live streaming in the shortest time possible. If you also want to support me, you will find the link in the description down below. For this reason, I also announce the launch of the channel memberships, which come in three different tiers. The first one, comes at just 99 cents, which is the lowest price I could select on YouTube because I really want it to be affordable to anyone who wants to support me and get some extra perks from the channel. For this price you will get a custom badge that changes with time, the emojis that you can use in the comment section down below as well as in the live chat, and also a member-only chat on my Discord channel where I will try to answer to your questions more often. The second tier comes at $4.99 and includes all the previous mentioned perks plus an early access to my videos, I will share the link in a private chat 24 hours in advance, and the possibility to play together. So for example, if Serali Crisis or Ian's Ballads or similar pop up, I will reach to the ones of you online and play with you together in a vocal chat. The third tier, the last one, comes at $49.99 and other than including everything mentioned before, I will have a 60 minutes private call once a month with you, where I will answer to every question you have and help you plan your account in the best way possible, giving you all the tips and advices you need to compete into the game. If you guys like my content, please smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel not to miss out to any future content. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!